Welcome everyone, my name is Ali A and today I am so excited to the point where I felt like I should wait to make this video, but I can't help myself. I'm too excited. I'm recording it right now because I want to share it with you guys so badly. So as you know, recently I've been playing Clash of Clans. I've made only a few videos so far, but you guys have been so helpful with your tips and tricks. I've also made a clan for you guys, which is currently in the process of bringing people in and it is basically a load of fun. However, when I downloaded Clash of Clans, I also downloaded alongside it Clash Royale. You can see both the apps on my screen now. When I first started playing Clash of Clans, I honestly wasn't that interested in Clash Royale until about yesterday when I actually managed to get some epic cards and I am now fully addicted to both the games. So this is going to be my very first Clash Royale video where again, any tips, tricks or piece of information you know that could help me out, please, please, please spam the comment section, spam my Twitter and let me know because I would really really appreciate it and if you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up I'm about to show you my deck my cards my loadout and everything that I've done so far in this game and hopefully you really enjoy it so thank you so much for watching you guys are amazing without further ado it is time for my very first Clash Royale video so welcome everyone to Clash Royale if you are a little bit new to this game like me then this would be a great way to start and to learn new things if you're a veteran player then let me know your tips basically guys this game's a little bit newer than Clash of Clans so I thought I had to jump on and give it a go and we can see here that I've got some chests to open up which we're going to be doing today and we're buying some really awesome chests we're going to be doing some online battles and towards the end of this video I may start what I think is challenges or tournaments in the app we'll get there towards the end guys don't worry so first of all and probably the thing you most wanted to know is which cards am I using this is currently my deck and can I just say, I am a big noob, a bit like when I started Clash of Clans. I don't really have any information on this game. I've just picked out some of the cards that I've pulled that have been working well for me online. So, first of all, this guy right here is amazing. You can throw it anywhere on the map in this great offensive barrel. I then got myself archers just to get some long range damage in. And basically, any cards that I'm using now, I've had experiences of other people being really good with them. And I'm like, yo, they're using them, I'm using them. So, I got myself a prince. I've got myself these amazing guys here. There's like a big troop of skeletons. Basically, my current favorite card in the game is this girl right here, the witch. I got her as a very lucky pull very early on in the game, and I absolutely love her. I can't lie, she's absolutely amazing, she's so strong. And then I've got myself, I actually only got him yesterday. Baby Dragon, the Fireball I've kept. I'm actually going to be doing some upgrades as well. And then, oh my god, this car, the Goblin Hut, is amazing. So, to kick off this video, I'm just going to upgrade all of the cards. Nice, Fireball is going up and up. And just in case you don't know, basically that number is how many of those cards you have. The more of the cards you have, the more you can upgrade them. And since I'm a big noob, my upgrades are only like 10, 20 cards. And I know because I've seen other people have like thousands of cards. That's how much you've upgraded them, which is crazy. Down here, you can see the rest of my collection. And maybe you're thinking, Ali, you've got an amazing card right here that you're not using that should be in your deck. Just let me know and I'll be down to do it. So let's just upgrade the rest of them. I'm just going to head and use the rest of my uh, gems to go ahead and make sure they're all upgraded. This guy I haven't actually used yet. And I really do. I'm quite tempted to give him a go. But I'm going to stick in my deck for the moment and just show you guys what my current plan of action is. And also, this card right here looks pretty damn awesome. But it's very expensive at six. I haven't quite given it a go yet. So those are all my cards upgraded. These are the current cards I've gotten. And I will go ahead and actually buy some of these amazing chests right here for you guys on video. Now, as I said, I've played this game less than Clash of Clans. So at the moment, I'm a little bit of a big noob. I've got 500 trophies. Literally only this morning did I upgrade myself from the Goblin Stadium to the Bone Pit, which I'm excited about. I haven't been in the Bone Pit for very long. Let me know which arena you guys are in. I mean, it goes all the way up if I keep on scrolling here to like challenger series, master series, and champion series. I can only assume you're like a competitive player if you're that good. So we're gonna be working our way up there and I'll give you updates if you guys enjoy this video of how we get on. Let's first of all just open up all the free chests and see what we get. Generally, they're not that great. They're denying me my chest. Okay, there we go. Some gold, some gems, thank you. Knight, goblins, tombstone. Never had that card before. New card for the collection. Some more, oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold on, there's two new cards there I've never gotten before. So the first one here is the Tombstone card. This looks pretty good. It spawns skeletons and then when it's killed, it spawns another four skeletons. 
I like that. That could potentially replace the little hut, maybe. And then this guy right here, a little minion, is actually a common car, but I've never had him before, so I'm excited. And I'm gonna unlock this little golden chest at the bottom here, straight away with the gems. I know, cheeky. Ooh, bomber, archers, spears, fireball, that's always good. That's always good. Any extra fireballs I get, I'm, I'm happy with. Let's just get these silver chests open. Lots of basic cards in here. Okay, nothing that great, unfortunately. Okay, okay, all the basic cards out the way. Let's just get into a battle, my friends, because it has been long enough since I started this video. Let me just show you. Oh my god, this guy's 500 trophies. He's a little bit better than me. So, this is my tactics, and please, please, please help me out. So, Goblin Hut, I use a little bit of a defensive card here. And um, I am actually going to go ahead and send off my prince on the right-hand side there. And get him charging up because he does a little bit more damage when he is a little bit faster. Oof, oof. Now, I, you know what's going to happen, don't you? I've literally won every single one of my Clash Royale battles, like, all day. All, like, the last few days. And now it's going to come to recording a video and I'm going to have the worst luck in the world. So I'm going to save up for my witch here. My castle is already, my little hut is already destroyed. So you have three castles, basically, and you can destroy all three if you want. But I, and most players, I assume... Just go ahead, and I'm going to actually send out my witch, my favorite card, along with a little baby dragon as well. They work really well as a combo, I find. And once you've destroyed the main one, the king at the top, then you actually go ahead and just win. And look how destructive they, they are. Or if they come onto your side and destroy your king castle, then you're really screwed. Ooh, we've got a little bit. Actually, I'm going to put that down there and see if they can help out the dragons. At the moment, the dragon's not good. Now, the goblin barrel is so OP. Oh, my God. When I throw it over, just look at this. It is going to attack their boss castle straight away. It is so, so good. I mean, they're not the strongest things in the world, but they're so useful. Just to throw it straight over there and not even have to worry about being like where you place them on the map. Because normally you have to be on your side. These little goblins are probably going to get killed. It's going to go ahead and fireball that side of the map. Why not? I'm not too worried about defensive strategy right now. Um, this, this giant's gonna do a little bit of damage to me, potentially. I'm just going full-on offensive. I'm gonna wait until I can build up two characters at a time, um, uh, before I go ahead and cast anything. I'm gonna do witch and a dragon combo, if possible. So I'm gonna put the witch down there, wait for this guy to charge up, put the little baby dragon down there. I love the baby dragon. The baby dragon was used against me so much when I first started playing this game. Okay, oh my god, it's times two elixir. Just just throw it for throw everything on there, boys. Give them the bow, give them the, the hot skeletons, give them everything. This is a GG right there. Three wins. Three like complete destruction to my name, basically. I get all the crowns, a silver chest, and 33 trophies. So that is basically the game, as I'm sure you guys already know. And I am absolutely addicted, I cannot lie. Since the battles are quite quick, let's go ahead and jump in for one more. And then after this one, I'll open up a really epic chest and see if we can get some new cards or just boost up the cards we've already got. Okay, baby dragon already. That's that's not really the best thing in the world, is it? Let's just get that. Oh, I, I, oh my god, I thought that was a heart. Ali, this, this could be bad. This could be a huge, huge mistake. Absolute mourn. All right, let's just get Prince over on the other side. Spawn in some skeletons there just to distract his prince. That was literally a misclick. Could not have gotten a bigger noob move there, unfortunately. I'm so sorry. Both of our castles are really, really low right now. I'm going to put down a goblin hut as a defensive strategy. My prince is being an absolute king and has already destroyed, oh my god, that left side castle. And his main base is already under attack. I'm going to go in for a fireball. And then I'm going to try and save up maybe for the baby dragon. I think, yeah, I'm going to lose my base on the right-hand side. It's fine, though. Technically, at the moment, I'm still at an advantage. Although I've lost that crown, it's okay. It's not over until the king is dead. And our goblins have been sent in. I'm tempted just to go for an archer, or maybe I should save up. You know what? Baby dragon, he's called one in, I'm calling one in. You know, baby dragon versus baby dragon. I think this is another GG. I think he's going down. My baby dragon's going to deal out the pain. I'm going to put in my skeleton army. Just a little bit of a backup. Oh, my, no, my baby dragon got killed already. I think this could be enough. It's so weak. Now, I don't know which... Like, I don't know good, like, deck setups. That's really what I'm looking for. So, that's where you guys come into play. But whatever I've got going at the moment seems to be working quite well. Let's just go ahead and open up these little uh, chests that we've earned ourselves. Just some gold bombers. Giant. I did love the giant. Ooh, bomb tower. Never had that before. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So basically another little tower. 
that you can set up and it can damage enemy people as they come towards you. Interesting, interesting. Our collection is building up. So I am going to spawn in a magical chest. And then I'm going to spawn in a super magical chest. And then we're going to remake our deck and do a few more battles with a new deck, I'm feeling. Okay, guys? So, it's going to guarantee me at least one epic. Some gold. Skeleton. Okay, I've never used those guys before. Minions. Haven't used those guys yet. Bomber. Common. Arrow. Super common. Ooh, mini P.E.K.K.A. I think we've already got those. We haven't used them yet. Bomb tower, another one times five, and a goblin barrel. Yay, amazing. That means I can upgrade mine. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm just going to have to do that quick. Just before I forget, goblin barrel, come on, my friend. So how's an extra... Oh, goblin level is going to be increased. Okay, nice, nice, nice. I want to get as many of those cards as possible. That is good. We've got a few other ones we can pull in here as well. But let us go ahead and open up next a super magical chest, which is 2,100 freaking gems. It is very expensive. 2,000 gold. Skeleton, still haven't used it. 43! Holy cow, that's a lot of upgrading potentially. Bombers, 50! <gasps> Balloon! Never had that before. Minions, common, 90. <laughs> okay. Musketeers, nice. Tombstone, we've got 26 of them. <gasps> Seven lightning cards. I've never used it before because it's so like. Actually, I don't. Is this going to be brand new? We'll check it out in a second. And then. That is everything. Okay, okay. If we go back to our cards, I now have loads of those lightnings I could upgrade. I've got a few of these tomb towers. Oh, baby, we've got so many options. Okay, so I'm actually going to make a second deck because I really like my first deck at the moment, guys. So I'm going to switch up a little bit and make us a new deck. Okay, guys, I think this is what I'm going for. Basically, I've just tried to put as much new stuff in there as possible. I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade anything that I can do at the moment with any extra cards that I've got. Minions. Oh my gosh, this is going to take a while, actually. Give me a second. Okay, he's finally fully upgraded. Let's upgrade. I'm going to have to get myself some extra extra gold for that. The lightning is upgraded. I've never used it before. And then these little guys as well. Okay, and then everyone is upgraded. Now, bearing in mind some of these cards I've never used before, it is going to be interesting. But I'm taking this deck online and trying out some battles, guys. So let's see how it goes. Oof. A little bit nervous, a little bit sweaty here. I knew how to use the other cards. I don't know how to use these ones. So, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put down a witch and put down, like, I can only cost one, don't they? In my mind, I could spam them because they were so cheap. But obviously, it just doesn't work. Oh my god, my skeletons are gone already. All right. So, I don't really know how this works. I'm going to put down the bomb tower like this, I think. And use it defensively, and hopefully that's a good idea. It's going to throw my goblin barrel straight at his base. Oh, this bomb looks quite good, but potentially a little bit weak, unfortunately. No, he's still alive. All right, so the minions I've never used before. So, sending those guys in, bearing in mind they're quite upgraded, which is good. And they're getting destroyed by the baby dragon. Great, great. Okay, oof, what to do here? What to do here? Um, I am just going to go and fireball his base over there. And that may destroy it, I'm not sure. Put down some skeletons here to fight off the goblins and help me out a little bit. Oh, this is going to be close. This new... Okay, I'm going to put down a bomb tower like this. It's another defensive unit just to help me, like, guard myself a little bit. I miss those huts, man. I miss those huts desperately. Okay, I'm going to put the goblin barrel over there just to get rid of it because technically I hadn't actually quite taken down that one. So, okay, take that down, guys. Nice, nice, nice. At least now I can spawn up a little bit more. He is saving up some big units because he has not spawned anything in in a while, which is which is worrying. Do witch versus witch and see how that goes down. Could be, could be bad, actually. Could, could, could be, yeah, okay. Minions, go and help out. This is not going as well as the first time, guys. See what I'm, okay, the, okay, at least the witch is down. And we're distracting. I'm going to have to wait. I'm going to have to wait. I'm tempted to wait for that lightning to go all the way up to six. That's more of a defensive play, I guess. You know what? I haven't used this before. Let's go with the balloon. And let's go with this as well. <gasps> My defensive um, bombs have been destroyed, unfortunately. Or just, like, run out of time or something. So they've absolutely gone. Oh, big bomb, though. Big bomb. That's going to explode. That is going to explode. Nice. I'm going for a fireball. And then I'm going for a barrel. It's going into double elixir time, which means things are going to get very, very crazy, guys. Let's go and put the witch in as well. I do not know how this is going to go, to be really honest with you. Oh, God. I'm going to put in minions as well. I'm just going to put low. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Go. No! Look how close that was. 365. That is the first loss I've had in several days. Probably because the deck wasn't quite set up 
in the best way possible. Let's do a slight adjustment, guys. Okay, I've done a little bit of changes. So basically, I brought back the hut, I brought back the group skeletons, and I brought back the baby dino. However, I have kept myself the one skeleton and also the five elixir balloon bomb, because that dealt some damage when it went off. So, closer to the first deck, I know, but I'm trying to include new stuff, because I love my first deck, guys. All right, come on. Let's prove ourselves here, baby. Let's prove ourselves. All right, what are we saying? I'm thinking maybe go off here with that and that. And you know what? Let's just send in a load of skeletons. A load of skeletons should absolutely destroy. Oh, this is good. This is good. I think oh, this is looking really good. Hold on, boys. Let's throw in that as well. Just send in the barrel as well. A bomb's about to go off. I think we're going to destroy that first base right now if things are going to go well here. Okay, let's get ourselves this little hut up. The heart is such a good defensive play, just to distract the other guys. He is going all out on the offensive right now. Hopefully that musketeer and also a little... I think actually maybe the uh, rocketeer guy that I haven't had a chance to use yet. Okay, so... I'm actually going to wait, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait. I am going to destroy that with a fireball, because that should kill it. Oh, he's got a little bit of a bomb set up there. Oh, that's actually really annoying. That is actually really annoying. Okay, you know what? Hold on, let's wait for a few more pieces. A few more cards here, a few more cards. I'm going to put in a skeleton army, which is hopefully going to deal enough damage. Nah. Oh my god, no. The bombs are so good at taking out groups, obviously. Baby dragon, come on, bro. Do me some good luck here. Do me a solid and be absolutely awesome. Bowel, I should have thrown a little bit further forward. God, these battles are intense. And I'm losing a little bit there. Oh, man. Skeletons, you're only one. Just get in there. Help. My village has been raided in Clash of Clans. No. I'm going to put a fireball there. It should get rid of all those skeletons nice and quickly. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. I haven't even had a chance to touch his main base yet. I'm going to save up for a witch and then also use probably my group skeletons. I should probably go on a defensive and put up a hut maybe, but... I'm, f I'm feeling YOLO right now. Whatever. Let's just go and send them in. Let's just go and send them in. Go on, Skeleton Army. Go on, Rich. Uh, Rich? Witch. Go on. This is looking good. This is looking... Okay. Take him down. Take him down. Take him down. Go for the main base. Yes, Skeletons. Go on. All right. Go in barrel. Oh, my God. That bomb guy is so freaking good. So freaking good. And I've just taken him out of my deck. I'm regretting it. To be fair, a lot of my choices are made from the experience that I have in battles. So I will have learned from this a lot. My blue dragon's doing a good job. Is it a good enough job, though? That's the question. All right, I'm going to put up a goblin hut. Great defensive strategy there. I am going to go ahead and put in a witch. Gets double elixir time. I'm going to put another skeleton army. Another skeleton. Oh, my God. There's skeleton armies everywhere. Witch, just get in there. No bomb. Damn it. Okay, okay. Okay, goblin. Goblin barrel. And potentially this firebomb could be enough. I think I could win this. I think I could win this. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Jeez, that was intense. It is one of the most intense matches I've had, actually. 29. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you again, my friends. We are at now 593 trophies. So we click on here. What do I need to get to the next one? 800. Oh, guys. Okay, that's, that's going to take a little while. That is going to take a little while. What do you reckon, guys? Take a look at my decks. Take a look at my decks. I'm tempted. That, that, that. His use of the bomb as a defensive, like, mechanism was so effective against, like, big groups of enemies that maybe I should do a little bit of a switcheroony again and bring this guy in instead of a hut for the second deck. I don't know. Guys, I'm going to leave it there. Take a look and give me any feedback you have, any cards I should be aiming for, any cards I should be upgrading, or just generally any tips because I would absolutely love them and I've had so much fun doing this. Okay. Hold on, I said right at the end of this video I would do something I hadn't done before, or at least start it. These are tournaments. Oh, I can't quite do them yet. Gutted. I was going to do them in this video for you guys. You can see here I'm only level 6, and these tournaments only start at level 8, so I can't actually do them. Maybe that's something we'll do if you guys have enjoyed this video in the next one. Do let me know. As soon as I finish the video, I'm going to play some more, because I'm addicted. If you've enjoyed, give it a big fat thumbs up. Actually, I need to see what's happened with my clan, Clash of Clans. I think I've been raided while we're playing this video as well. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. All your tips down below would be amazing. And I'll see you guys very soon for another video. Bye-bye.